everyone, and thank you for joining us on Think Tech Hawaii's Connecting Hawaii Business. My name is Kathleen Lee with Kathleen Lee Consulting, and I am your host for this program. This afternoon, we have very some, some very special guests. See, I'm already stuttering, and it's just, it's not even a minute into the program. But today, we have the owners of Essential Peace. Um, they are both they're both police officers. We have Kaipo Paiva and Graham Wong. So thank you both for being on the show and welcome. Well, thank you for having us on the show. Oh, absolutely. We appreciate it. Yeah, so go ahead and introduce yourselves to our viewers out there. And just as a note, um, to everyone who is watching, this is live streamed. So if you would like to um, send us any questions, you can email questions at thinktechhawaii.com. So um, Kaipo and Graham, go ahead and introduce yourselves. So hi, I'm Kaipo Paiva. I'm a police officer with the Honolulu Police Department. Uh, I'm a sergeant and I work out of the Pro, out of the Pro City Police Station. And um, I've been a police officer for 20 years. And uh, we opened this company about back in March. And here we are today. What about you, Graham? Okay, um, my name is uh, Graham Wong. I met Kathleen when we used to work at um, the Prince Waikiki. So I'm kind of honored that she had us on this show, but I'm also a police officer with the Department of Defense. I've been a police officer for 13 years. I'm actually a Sergeant now. Um, I am assigned to the Wahiwa Annex as of now, and then we'll rotate later on. Um, me and Kaipo have been best friends for ever since we attended Damien High School together. So maybe I want, I don't want to put it out there too. So everybody will know our age, but it's like maybe close to 30 years of friendship. Um, he had this great idea. Um, you want to support your friends. So, uh, we collaborated together more of our, for networking. The whole concept is his, is his idea. And when you believe that your best friend has a great idea, you just go and you run with it. Let's go run with that then. So your business is called Essential Peace and it is um, a business that sells uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, and it's inspired by first responders. So could you tell us a bit more about how, when that came about what inspired you to do it and why highlight first responders with the theme of your business? So this started back in March of 2020 and uh, my mom had been diagnosed with leukemia um, at, the, at the beginning of February. And so she opted out of, she opted out of um, chemo and we, she went straight to hospice care and you know, she came home and she was still joy, joyful as the same as ever. And I chose to go and live with her and help her throughout all that time. And in that time, you know, COVID was just coming out and it was just starting out and we didn't know. And my mom, with my mom having leukemia, you, you had to wear a mask. We were wearing, wearing masks around her and trying to keep a bubble around her. And when, as, as we watched, as I watched the, the, um, the COVID pandemic take, more in Hawaii, I noticed that more people started to wear masks, and you know they're saying you know, it help can it can help to to reduce the spread of of COVID. And so, I uh, our first responders, being police officers, um, EMTs, uh, fire departments, uh, firefighters, they're the first ones there at any situation, and we didn't know much about it, but we had to wear masks, and I noticed that I didn't. Wearing those paper masks, you know, they were just uh, they were great and stuff, and and so I wanted to wear stuff that I wanted to wear. Like I've always wanted to look for clothing that I want. I I I go for clothing that you know that sends a message, and so I created a mask with a design that I liked, and I created a handful, and I I wore it one day to work, and I took a selfie because we were all starting to wear masks and everybody was like, oh, where'd you get that mask from? And I, I said, I, I made it. I said, can, I, can we order one? And I said, sure. And so um, I, one turned into 400 of them and said, okay. And there and behold, I, 
I was at home with my mom a lot. So I was playing around with a lot of designs and a lot of messages that I wanted to send out. And, you know, people will always see your face. So I was like, you know, maybe we should put some positive messages on there, especially in a time where, you know, law enforcement are, are being seen in a, in a negative way. I think that if we could send some kind of positive messaging to people regarding law enforcement and uh, the, the name of the company itself came, came about because I, I also have my own company as a, as a, speak, a speaker and a professional speaker and I do a lot of youth classes and one of the, one of the subjects I teach is forgiveness. And I think the goal of you know, every police officer, well, the goal of forgiveness is to help you find peace. And I think, in my opinion, I think at the, at the end goal, whether you, you want to be successful or you want more freedom or you want something to be a certain way, I think the end goal that everybody's searching for is peace because when I have freedom, then I'll have peace. And so police officers, uh, when I learned the forgiveness uh, skills that I, that I teach is that I think every end goal is that police officers, our end goal is that we want peace. And then I so, thought to myself, I go, it's not just me, it's, it's about everybody. And I think we're all, uh, the word, the, you know, essential workers, when COVID was started, first starting out, essential workers were the only ones that go to work. And that word essential kind of stuck with me. And I thought, well, you know, peace is essential. And I think we're all essential pieces to creating peace together. And that's how the name of the company was formed, is Essential Peace, and that peace is essential and we're all essential pieces to creating peace. So let's um, let's pull up the second photo here. I know you um, had mentioned police officers, and that's the theme that your company is running here. Could you tell us more about the colors that you've used, as well as the logo, and, and, and elaborate more on that and why you decided to go that route or made those selections? Well, <clears throat> the colors are pretty much the thin blue line colors, or or the colors of you know. The thin blue line and the theory behind the thin blue line is, you know, in darkness where the the blue or the police represented by blue are the ones that 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 protect um, our community from the evil that's out there. And if if people don't know or don't realize how bad it is out there, then I think we're doing a good job. And um, the shield, if you look at the, the shield and the 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 kahili with the cross paddles. Um, that shield and that kahili with the cross paddles are actually on the center of our Honolulu Police Department badge. And the theory behind it is there's a story called um, the law of the splintered paddle. And because I, I wanted to research, I see you see it all over the, the, um, um, the uh, Kamako Maoli flags or the Hawaiian flags and it's, it's there and I never knew what it stood for and I'm part Hawaiian so I did some research. And I read about it and I was like, it's, it makes perfect sense. And it's a story about how King Kamehameha tried to take over Hawaii Island or one of the towns and he failed and he was gonna take over another another village. And he saw, he ran to shore and left his army behind. And he saw these two fishermen fishing and they were just minding their own business. He goes over to try to attack them. His foot gets stuck, stuck in a rock. And the fishermen, they're, they're so scared. They whack Kamehameha over with the, with the paddle and he hits him so hard the paddle splinters and they run away. They don't finish him off, they run away and they're just trying to get, find safety. And when Kamehameha woke up, he realized that what, what he did was, was wrong. And the, these, these fishermen weren't a part of the, the war, the fight. And the whole premise is the why, we, why there's a shield is because uh, police officers wanna, wanna shield and protect our community. And the law of the splintered paddles is um, anyone who, who's not involved with the war, anybody, uh, which is Kupuna, uh, our community members, our youth, uh, we're here to protect them. And our goal is to help subdue the evil that it's out there who are trying to victimize our community. And that's why I chose the, I like the, the shield with the Hawaii flag with the blue line behind it, because the whole theory of all that about protection and being a guardian for our communities. Okay. Thanks, Kaipo, for explaining that. We actually do have a question from a viewer that I'm going to um, try to kind of rephrase. So because of everything that has been going on in the world, and again, your theme came from that, right? Essential piece. It's to counter um, a lot of, you know, um, the disenchantment that has been going on in our society. Has The question is, has anyone given you grief about your company? 
because it, it is, you know, police officer, first responder themed? Personally, not to me, I guess. Um, not to me personally, I haven't heard anything. It's, it's, been, a, it's been supportive so far. Uh, and um, I'm not going to vouch that every police officer on the planet is perfect and follows all the rules all the time. I, you know, I understand there are people, just like in every other profession, where they make bad decisions, where it hurts people and it hurts the community. Uh, I myself, I do a lot of community work, and I really believe in helping the community. Um, I do a lot of work with the youth as a, as a police officer and educating the youth and community service work. So, um, and at the same time, I've done a lot of work where we've had people break the law and we've had to arrest them or give citations, but I haven't had anybody give me too much grief yet. And I hope I can change their mind about police officers through our clothing line. What about you, Graham? What is your take I, on that? I think um, I haven't got any bad feedback, but I think more of our clientele we cater to first responders so i don't think first responders would um we're trying to branch out we're trying to we're going to ex, we're trying to expand we want to get everybody involved but i understand right now as of now for business wise our clientele is basically first responders but as a police officer we're not we're more trying to educate than trying to punish like, you know, sometimes, like they say, the punishment has to fit the crime, but we also want to educate people so they can, you know, rehabilitate um, and go back out into the world and, you know, and be uh, useful to society. And I can't speak for Kaipo, but, you know, I think we kind of have the same mentality. It's not about always hammering down, hammering down, hammering down. We want to, you know, educate, we want to you know, tell people, hey, we understand, like, times are, sometimes, times are hard, you come from a, 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 you know, a family that's struggling, you live in a certain area of the island, and it's just hard, you have bad role models, but you just kind of, and I know Kaipo was really, really into, like, helping the youth, so that when they come, when they get older, and they try to, time to function in society, he gives them the tools, and I try to do that when I come across any individual that we get a call to, that you kind of want to listen to both sides and educate. So as far as getting negative feedback about our product, um, as of now, I haven't received any negative uh, feedback. Thanks for sharing that, Graham. We will actually be going on break, but when we come back, we will be talking about some of the challenges that Essential Peace may have encountered while starting their business during a pandemic. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii's Connecting Hawaii Business. My name is Kathleen Lee with Kathleen Lee Consulting. And on the show today, we have Kaipo Paiva and Graham Wong of Essential Peace, which is a company that makes um, PPE uh, for first responders. And uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, they are police officers. And that is, what, that is why their target is um, first responders as well. But let me go into that because we did get a question from a viewer. Um, do you only sell local and do you plan on expanding to include designs for other states? Because it does look like it is, you know, um, Hawaii 
seen. So I'll let you guys respond to that. Uh, so yes, we, we, do, we do. We already, we go on, uh, we have our website, esntlpce.com. You can go to our website and we can order and we do ship to, we've shipped as far as Virginia and New York and we love it. I mean, it's a, it's a positive message. Um, I wouldn't mind if, if you guys had, a, if somebody from another state had an idea and there's a bunch of people that want it and could give me an idea of what's behind the design because it's, it's not only about designing something that looks cool. It's about having a purpose behind the design is what I believe and what kind of message it's gonna de um, deliver at the same time. I think apparel and masks are a great, a great way to, to send messages, especially messages with a purpose and hopefully that purpose is moving towards peace. Let's and show that so, third photo so people have an idea of what you guys offer. So it looks like you make PPE for adults and children. Is that correct? Yes, we yeah. have um, adults and children's sizes. Um, that's my son over there, and he loses masks left and right, so I made a lot more designs. And this is probably one of our newer designs that's going to be coming out, and probably my favorite message that we like and well yeah we definitely can ship okay well, and, i think oh go ahead Brad. i think to answer that more into detail for that question because i think because we're based from hawaii and we're such a small business it's only me and kaipo we're the only employees of the business so we started small and you know we're kind of catering to friends and family and co-workers that it kind of expanded out to you know because at one point we were doing deliveries and we're meeting all these new people we're delivering to all over the island but once you're business-wise when you start expanding you can't do as much deliveries as you want so we do shipping but we ship to the mainland and we got to look at it for the business sense wise. And we, expansion is always in the works. Like we are more than willing to expand to um, other states, uh, other for ideas. But if we're only gonna get a small hand of individuals from the state, it, we can't bring in a lot of bulk stuff for that state if only a handful of individuals are gonna purchase it. And then we're gonna be stuck with you know, I don't want to sound bad, like, you know, but now I'm just learning the business side of it. You know, like I explained to uh, you, Kathleen, earlier that me and Kaipo are good front men. We're good sales, sales people. Like we can stand up, we can talk to everybody, you know, sell our product. But behind the scenes, like the inventory, the bookkeeping, the business sense, you know, we had a, we took us three times to get our business account set up at the bank because you know we're fairly new to business all our career we just been we had we were never owners of a business we were basically first responders as police officers and now we're venturing into this new idea and it's a learning process every day it's a learning process but expansion is always going to be available as in every any business yeah, let's go more into that. So you, you need a little bit of the challenges that you have ran into as a business owner in Hawaii, a new business owner, especially during the pandemic. But that's kind of, that is how the business came about anyway, is because you guys are first responders. You responded to COVID-19 by coming up with the PPE idea. What other challenges have you ran into since building this business? And how have you guys um, been solving for it? I think, it, so in my opinion, um, one of the parts of community policing, which is what I've been assigned to for the last 10 years, is problem solving. And one of the ways that uh, I learned, I, we, I went to this class called, it, it's from, um, oh my gosh, uh, I forget what the company named, I just went blank. But um, there's, a, there's a course at, at Stanford University called Design Thinking. And with design thinking and, uh, Problem solving work, uh, community with community policing. The whole goal is to listen. It's all about listening and the design thinking. They they tell you the difference between an invention and an innovation. An invention is something you make and you deliver to people and say, "Hey, 
do you think you could use this? Uh, design, design thinking thinks of an innovation where let's go talk to people and see what they're at and what's going on, what challenges are they having? And, you know, I talk to people, I listen to people about what the challenges are. Oh, I hate wearing a mask because my ears sore or my nose, it doesn't fit right. And it's so, and I, what I noticed was, yeah, you know, if there was something like for police officers, like we could be more inclined to wearing it and it'd probably protect more people. And I said, well, okay. And I, I tried out several different designs of masks. This is the design part. And um, I found a mask that was cost effective. Our goal is to keep the cost down for our customers. And at the same time, trying to figure out what could fit most people. I, I mean, I understand that our stuff isn't the only one out there. And is, I'm not saying ours is the best for everyone, but I, I try to cater to as much people as possible. And the business side of it, like Graham said, it's um, setting up our account be, between an LLC and an LLP. We thought we were going to be partners. So we went through a partnership and oh my gosh, we found another partner partnership. And but we had to go, it took like um, 90 days or three months and the DCACA people who are so kind and so patient talked to me and I said I told them straight up I don't know what I'm doing and they said yo you know but you know they were helpful and you know I, I think if you just ask questions and you're very transparent and honest about what you're trying to do and what you don't know there are people out there that want to help you and I say you know accept the help because yeah I don't know everything and but there are people out there too and maybe ask them. So you had mentioned accepting help, but I understand that you guys also give help and you have donated a bunch of um, these PPE to organizations, schools. Can you tell us a bit more about that? So one of the, um, in, in community policing, one of our really close nonprofits that we work with is Weed and Seed Hawaii. And I have a really close relationship with them. They hold a lot of community events and during the COVID, this whole pandemic thing, it was starting out and where kids started start staying home from school. And one of the hot spots was actually with Papu in the community that I work. And so Lori Connell, who I work with close with, with um, at Weed and Seed, she's one of the coordinators. She said, oh, you know, do you have any connections with masks? Like, and I was like, yeah. And she said, oh, okay, because we're looking for masks because we want to make, you know, bad care bags to give to the kids and give to the community so they can start wearing masks and put wipes in it and stuff. So how many masks can you donate? And I said, Got a few hundred, you want some? So I had this model that made this one that didn't really sell so good. So she goes, oh, okay, how much can you And I gave like a couple hundred to her, adults and kid sizes. I said, here you go. And she said, thank you. And she was able to get it to the people that needed it most. And I, you know, the one of the philosophies that I like is a win-win. I mean, it's good for us that we're getting our name on and it's good for our community because in the end, it's all about the community. That's free publicity people wearing our masks and we're donating it to a good cause so i think it's it's very it's we donate to other things too like you know people's been asked uh individuals been asking us to help with you know i know it's trying times during these times and we really appreciate everybody you know that come on the website and purchase stuff from us because you know i know you see it uh, every struggling they're asking for the second stimulus check people uh, complaining about the unemployment not being to get in, and we're so appreciative that people actually go on our site and buy stuff during this time of you know uncertainty in the world. So uh, we really appreciate that you know people support us, you know, and it's expanding. So it, business, we don't concentrate this on this full time, and you know this is our full time, you know situation we have full-time jobs we have families and then we just do this uh people put orders we do this but i think the partnership is what was i was i was really worried about is that you know because sometimes partners disagree but uh we've been going on five six months i think we had one disagreement and then we kind of squashed that so it's kind of uh yeah i think we're moving in the right direction we just gotta, you know, we we're human. We're learning. We make order. We make we've been we make order mistakes all the time. But as the customer service part aspect, we want it. We will correct the uh, the mistake. We will correct. We've been getting a uh, quite a few, and it's both, you know, it's me. It's kind of, you know, but we will correct it. We as soon as possible. 
Okay, let's pull up that last photo. I know we talked about you two and your company creating personal protective equipment, but they, I mean, it goes beyond that. Your product line goes beyond that. Could you kind of go briefly into that? And then anything else that you would like to add that we may not have gone over in our last two minutes of the show? Well, I mean, it's, it's, Graham and I have talked about doing like our own t-shirts because saying our own things and, um, basically that shirt says it all it's aloha is essential and in the end just go to aloha and the hat that in that picture is from a different company from um, another police officer called Mont from Montes apparel you go to our website they have a lot of good stuff too there and there's got your six there's blue line hawaii and uh, people ask you know you know how do you feel about your competition i'm like i'm not in competition with them it's why can't we all succeed together and i tell people all the time you want you want cool hats there's also got your six there's blue line hawaii there's Monty's apparel go check them out they have really great messages too and it's it's not about stepping on anybody to get to our goal it's it's more about let's collaborate with as many people as possible so we can go and get to our goals together and um it's about sending positive messages as, uh, to people and about our company and about everybody and how can people find you guys on the web? I know, Kaipo, you mentioned it earlier, but could you repeat it one more time for our viewers out there? You can go to our website. Um, it's abbreviated essentialpeace.com. So E-S-N-T-L-P-C-E.com. You could search us on Instagram, same thing, E-S-N-T-L-P-C-E, or on Facebook, um, E-S-N-T-L-P-C-E. You'll find us or Google us and put those letters together and find us on our website. And if you want to give us a, mess give us a message, Go on Instagram. We really, uh, we're really good about answering messages. And if, like we said, if we, the Graham said, if we make mistakes, please let us know between by uh, messenger or anything, because we really want to correct it. And we do apologize. And sometimes there's a little bit of extra stuff in there when we make mistakes. <laughs> Final words, Graham. Um, like I said, I just want to thank everybody that supporting uh, Essential Peace. Um, I know. You know, during these trying times and people are, you know, spending money on our um, apparel like that. You know, we also support other, like I said, others like Back to Blue and uh, Monty's Apparel, Got Your Six. We all want to, you know, there's a lot of business to go around. We don't feel that we need to take all the business. We're not about that. You know, we're more than happy because I see people were interested in Back to Blue shirts but they have our mask on and they're asking back the blue, oh, where did, or do you guys have those masks? And back the blue, Wayne and Sherry will always direct them to us. So we want to do the same. When people say, hey, that's a cool shirt that says back the blue, we want to push them towards back the, back the blue when, we're, when people are posting with, their, with our mask, with their shirt on. And with Monty's apparel and back, uh, Got Your Six and Blue Line Away. So, yeah, we appreciate everybody supporting us. So I want to thank everybody. Uh, thank Kaipo. You know what I mean? He puts up with me. You know, sometimes I'm calling him late at night and, you know, asking him all these kind of questions. So I really appreciate that. Kaipo's patient with me. You know what I mean? And I appreciate <laughs> that. I think that's the partnership that's coming out. And on that note, we will go ahead and conclude the show. Thank you again, Kaipo Paiva and Graham Wong of Essential Peace. Thanks. Thank you for, guys very much. Yeah, joining us today. Thank you so today. much for having us on the show, Kathleen. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a good one, everyone.